Hi guys, we're back for another unboxing video. We got also, an, again, a crazy amount of watches in uh, this week. Today is the 20th of July, and let's have a look what we get. Today, on set, we have Arnu. Um, I think we're gonna make this a tradition to have a drink before we start each of these unboxings, just to ease the nerves. Sounds good. Let me feel like gold, but here is silver tequila. A groote. No. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, yo. Next. Ah. Okay. Okay. Today, um, I'm wearing a, a Breitling Avenger GMT black PVD. Very comfortable watch to wear, especially with the um, deployment clasp. Today, I'm wearing a Breitling Super Ocean 46. Big watch for your wrist. It is. Like your mouth. Too big. All right, let's start the first watch. All right, so we got in a IWC Aqua Timer. Titanium case or brushed titanium. A lot of guys send us these watches and you want us to refurb them for you. These, these ones can't be refurbed purely because they have like a sandblasted um, finish to it. So it can't be polished because of the finish that the watch has. Then next up is the Bright Clean Aerospace Evo Blue Dial is the newer model from the normal aerospace then they brought out the evos also titanium yeah a brand that we got that i got to love or hate and now starting to love it the tudors we got in two special tudors tudor black bay Tudor. brand new still on the those ones are much more popular on the uh, steel bracelet compared to the leather that's how we got it. And this is probably my favorite watch of all of the watches that we got. Let's try. Tudor Black Bay. Tudor Black Bay Pro. You guys will see it looks a lot like the um, Rolex Explorer with, or yeah, the one that they call the Steve McQueen. I think Rolex probably modeled or based this watch on that one. And then a Tag Narco Grand Prix. Probably the ugliest one of all the watches we got. Yep. Then a Zenith Pilot Doppelalolo. I not, don't even know how to pronounce what this is. Uh, it looks a lot like the IWC uh, Big Pilot's watch. It also has the big onion crown. Um, a nice watch if you are someone that also that does like the IWC Big Pilots. This just cost half the price of a Big Pilots. Then uh, you guys probably saw in our previous video we had the skeleton Cartier Santos. This is not the skeleton but it is the same watch or the same case dimensions. This watch also comes on a rubber strap, a black rubber strap which is nice and it also the bracelets got the same feature a quick release where you can remove the links of the bracelet purely by just pushing the buttons inside and a button at the back of the uh, the lugs and that removes the bracelet 34 millimeter rolex oyster perpetual uh, this one they refer to it as a grape dial uh, it's also quite special on the card you'll see it they put the reference there, grape. Very popular watch at the moment, uh, a Rolex Sky Dweller. It's for the guys with the bigger wrists. Beautiful, you can see a like it in there. Yep. Bye. Then probably the most special watch from all of the watches that we got is a Rolex. They refer to it as the Kermit. It's the 16610 LV reference. What makes this one really special, it is from 2006. It's never been worn. It still has all the plastics on the watch, uh, on the sides of the case. 
even the bracelet at the back it still has the plastics on complete with its box and its original papers even has this the anchor that you get that you used to get with rolexes which is nice the one side it shows the meters the otherwise it, other side it shows the the feet uh, this is also not the kind of watch that i would suggest someone buy to wear it's definitely an investment watch that you would buy put away in a safe and just watch the value grow if you want to like this one is we're selling it for over 400,000 rand uh, you can get examples like this for around about 300 or even under 300,000 rand but then it's obviously not in the condition and it's not brand new with the plastics on so not a watch to buy to wear investment watch another one we got is the the baby I would say this is the daddy this is the mommy <laughs> Also a 16610 uh, previous sub, I mean it's the same as the, the LV, one just has a black dial and this one also has the black dial. One of the things that people, when I just started with watches that I didn't know that people used to do, they would swap out the bezels on the normal 16610, they just put a green bezel in and they would portray it as a Kermit or an LV sub. So the first giveaway of these is if you look at the loom dots on the watch, you will see the Kermit, the loom dots are bigger. The normal sub, it's smaller. That's like the first giveaway that you can say that is a real LV and that one is a LN. Next one is a Sea Dweller 43 mil, the two-tone one, also really popular. Also, once, once again, for someone with a bigger wrist, I would re recommend this over the sub if you want something a bit more chunky and bigger. This one is based, or not based, um, the stainless steel one is called the Red Sea Dweller with, that they refer to as the 50th anniversary, or is a 50th anniversary. And then last one, the Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea. Big, chunky watch. 44 mil. Yeah, 44 mil. This is also the newer reference. It's the 12660, I think, one, two, um, where they've redesigned the, um, the bracelet. It's a bit more comfortable, whereas the older ones, people were complaining. The watch is very top heavy. This one balanced out a bit more just because of the bracelet. Arnu, and 30 years old? Yeah, <laughs> getting old. Fully wear that. Out. Better. Guys, Arne has been, he started working for Luxury Time uh, when he were, how old were you? 22, 21. 21. Mm. Yeah, so he's been with us nine years now. He's getting bad, his eyes, his eyes is going. Yeah, everything's going. Uh, yeah. But thanks, Arne. Part of the furniture. Part of the furniture, yeah. And he also learns every day, like I also still learn every day. Cheers and watch out for the next video. This tequila, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes.